as I'm pleased to announce that we have today achieved a breakthrough in negotiations for a comprehensive economic trade agreement. The Harper government has laid out a timetable to ratify the historic EU free trade pact. But after nearly uh, half a decade of negotiations, Canada and the European Union still have at least two more years of work to do before those free trade aspirations can be met. But is it a good deal? Well, Sun News contributor Simon Kent joins me now from London, England to discuss it. And Simon, you say good all around for consumers, really good for Canada. It is fantastic for Canada. Look, let's put this into context. Canada has one of the strongest economies in the world. It's a poster child for sound economic management and, and credit where credit is due. All of that pretty much is due to the, the uh, steady hand that Stephen Harper and the Conservatives have on the economic tiller. Just last June, Canada recorded a $1.8 billion surplus. So the economy is already strong. This deal with Europe opens up a huge new market, the biggest, biggest single trading market in the world worth about $78 trillion a year. That's every year in the EU. Canada is going to have access to that market for a whole range of products. And Canada, when you tie that with the NAFTA agreement, Canada now has unique access to European markets and the US market. Not well, many countries in the world can say and, that. And let's put this in some policy wonkish mm -hmm. numbers, okay? So, right. you know, mm -hmm. and then we'll get into what it means for, for regular people buying at the okay. stores. but. According to the, the backers of the deal, they say this will add huge growth to Canada's economy. $12 billion worth of annual economic growth, the equivalent of 80,000 new jobs or a $1,000 increase to the average household income and access, as you mentioned, to those 500 million new European customers. And one of the biggies in this is our meat industry, which is apparently you guys are going to be getting all kinds of great beef and pork. 80,000 to duty, 80,000 tons of duty-free access uh, for pork producers, 50,000 tons for beef producers, and 3,000 tons of bison. So, you know, you're there in London now. You can tell everyone how great our steaks and burgers are. Look, if they put uh, beaver tails and, and if they put maple syrup on that list, then I'm never coming back to Canada, believe me, because <laughs> there's some of the things that we miss over here. But again, Canada is in such a great position. Look at this. As I said, free trade with the US, free trade with Europe. Go across the Pacific coast, look down uh, to the Pacific, to Asia and all those booming economies. Canada has been talking for five or six years with Japan. If they can open up a free trade agreement with Japan and some of those other tiger economies in Asia. Well, my my interest is, is has this India as well. Uh, they've been talking about a trade too. deal with India for some time. That's a billion people. Yes. And unlike China, mm. it is a democracy. Uh, I know there's some people that are opposed to this, both uh, on the left and the right. Yeah. They don't like um, free trade deals because they say it erodes national sovereignty but on the consumer front i want to show some of the uh, some of the items that will be cheaper both yeah. for canadians and for europeans canadians are going to be paying less for uh, clothes perfume wine all that french and italian wine cheese and cars and over in europe well you're going to be paying less for forestry products so wood paper um, north american cars so you can get something with a bit more pep uh, beef chemicals and plastics and seafood so you can have a good fish and chip supper and go for a drive in a pickup truck. Well, that's a hell of a long list. But look, the, 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 the basic thing here for Canada is ensuring jobs and, and the mark of a good government, and certainly this conservative government, is delivering jobs, delivering a future and helping people secure their dreams and their future by, by virtue of working hard and being able to, to have a job and look to the future. This trade agreement will help secure that. Canada has a massive opening now for trade and a massive opening into Europe. And Europeans will, will be, be loving this because, well, let's will, face it, will they, is there... going to be squeezed out at one well, end. Well, yeah, Russia I is... I think they will. You know, I, I hope we're more attractive than Russia. But let me ask you this. Is there any opposition to this? Mm. I remember a few years ago flying into Gatwick Airport just south of London and, and reading right. the Daily Telegraph, and they were complaining about all this cheap, bland Canadian cheddar. Oh, we can't believe it's being dumped here. But obviously... Parents feeding their families were loving it because the sales were going up. This will only increase that. But is, is there any, oh, we don't want more free trade deals inside the EU? 
some single interest producers, let me say one of them is poultry. There's a lot of poultry producers in Europe and also here in the UK. They want greater access and these are some of the finer points that have to be tied up. But I think in Europe, all the economies are so closely meshed, people intrinsically understand the benefits of linking one economy with another, dropping trade barriers, dropping tariffs, opening up a new market for your exporters, but also then on the obverse side of the coin, you accept the products as well. I think it's overwhelmingly positive. As I said, send over more beaver tails, send over more maple syrup, <laughs> and uh, you'll have the UK and Europe awash. They'll be running to the airport to uh, welcome someone like you when you get off your Air Canada flight. They'll rush there and lay down a red carpet for you. Sounds wonderful. Simon, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks.